So let's start off with the naming convention of the Terry's major. Terry's, as I said before, means round, but I remember it as T for Turner. Um, and major is the large Turner. And uh, for this, we need to remember that it goes to the front of the humerus. So here we can look at the teres muscles in context of the other deep muscles of the arm. On top, remember, we have teres minor. On bottom, we have teres major. Looking at them from the bottom highlights the fact that the teres major goes to the front and the minor goes to the back. So the origin is on the bottom of the scapula and the insertion is the front of the humerus. So I'm going to add a lot of muscles now and um, just to get you a sense of what's going on here and it's uh, pretty complex and I wouldn't worry about it right now because we're going to cover each of these muscles um, in depth later. So here we have the latissimus dorsi, which attaches in front of the teres major. Behind the teres major is the triceps. And here's the coracobrachialis, and here is the biceps brachii. First, I'm going to take away the biceps brachii, and then the coracobrachialis, and uh, take away the latissimus dorsi. And finally, I'll take away all the rest and just leave the teres major. Handling all those layers will be uh, easier than you expect when we go through it muscle by muscle, so don't worry. About it. And this uh, illustrates just once again how it comes in front of the humerus.